everybody. So I've just uh, been to the Doncaster Skills Academy, which was really cool. Um, they're based over in Keepnet, so I thought I'd have a little walk while the weather's nice. Um, I'm actually a bit hot in this jacket, to be honest with you. So the, the Doncaster Skills Academy, um, they're really, really cool. I, I hadn't really heard of them before this year, but basically they, they help um, students, particularly uh, secondary school students, gain um, various skills that are uh, kind of essential and desirable for the workforce that, that you won't get with qualifications. So it's um, a lot of it is, say, financial awareness, um, enterprise, uh, the soft, soft skills as well, so like communication and teamwork and that sort of thing. And um, they, they present various days in schools, uh, various sessions. And the, the one that I'd quite like to get involved with is the enterprise and skills part. So I would be kind of talking about like how I got to where I am and how they might do something similar or like the skills that I would like my employees to have and things like that. So, um, I, I think that would be really helpful because, uh, as I was saying in the Young, Young Entrepreneurs Network, um, when I was in school, the like, self-employment wasn't really seen as, a, as an option. It was kind of like, go, go into university or get a job. And I'm fully aware that the majority of people won't have sort of the business awareness to, to be able to... Uh, you know, come up with a, an amazing idea and then put it into place and make a lot of money from it. Um, then the, the, there are those people who have got the apprentice, so who knows. Um, but yeah, like maybe something to work towards, like uh, in the future, these, these sort of people might find it quite useful to, to think about that. And um, uh, basically anything to kind of encourage young people to, to stay in Doncaster because the, the people at the Skills Academy were saying to me that um, a lot of them don't view Doncaster in a very positive light, which is fair enough. Like, I, I did have that when I was, when I was younger. And um, <laughs> when I wanted to, um, to have my first kind of proper job after the university, I, I didn't know where I wanted to go as long as it wasn't in Doncaster. So, like, when I, when I came back from, I moved to Manchester, so uh, when I came back from Manchester, Doncaster had, um, had massively changed, really, to be honest with you. Like, um, especially in the last, maybe, two years or so. Um, uh, I don't know whether it's just luck that I've found these um, contacts that are, like, young creatives and are um, really passionate about, sort of, driving Doncaster forward. But, yeah, there's, there's that element to, to the workforce now and um, if, if you don't get young people kind of interested and invested in Doncaster then the town probably will uh, never move forward as fast as, as you want it to because um, young people are like uh, a big driving force and um, have a lot of energy to, to help move things along so um, anything I can do to kind of help people realise what opportunities there are or what opportunities they could even create in Doncaster for themselves, um, I'd love to get involved in that. So, um, the Skills Academy are looking for for businesses to kind of present different days or maybe welcome students in to like have a look around and stuff like that in small groups. Um, so if you, if you are a business owner, then I suggest you get in touch with them because it's a really awesome thing that they do and um, giving up your time for a like, I don't know, one, two, three hours maybe um, to help people get kind of invested in your business. And it is also a promotion for your business as well. So uh, along with that, you can sponsor, um, you could sponsor a day of, uh, of sort of skill learning or whatever. I wonder what he's up to, he's in a bit of a hurry. Um, yeah, you can sp sponsor a, a day. So say if it costs like a thousand pounds to do an activity, uh, like an activity day or something, then you could say like, um, give 500 or or give all of it or whatever and you like they will promote your business for you like you don't even have to be there um, and then you look like a kind of positive chari charitable person which is always good so um, uh, yeah if you if you want to kind of get involved in that then I strongly suggest you do because um, by investing back into people uh, by investing back into people then 
hopefully we can kind of create this momentum to to drive Doncaster forward so those are my kind of two cents on it um, I'm sure I'll think of more later but no matter um, it's been a really nice walk actually to be honest all right so um, if you've got any questions then I'll try and direct you to them and um, uh, I, I can try and answer them as well so get involved is my is my message of the day all right bye guys